All Eyes on Fishing with Mitch Peterson, Josh Sheldon, and Brad Qualley, leading you to the next level. Everybody, welcome back to All Eyes on Fishing. You guys notice anything different? Mm-hmm. No, it's last quiet. time, last time you guys made fun of me because I was like, I couldn't barely talk because I was. Well, so it's been sick. a minute though. I mean, <laughs> well, dude, yeah. it took me forever to get done being sick. But welcome to All Eyes on Fishing. We're back in it. They may have liked, your, they may have liked your old voice better, dude. I was out, out. Sorry, it's been a minute, but I was down and out for a minute. Down but and you, out. You sound good now. I do. I've been singing, back. getting my. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> all right, we're out. Yeah. Hey, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah. You got a special treat. No, <laughs> I, I was just doing it, not saying it's any good. I was just singing to get my voice ready for a podcast. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. Doing some like lemon. La, la, la. That's right, because we were doing the Kermit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? yeah, that's right. Yeah. You were making fun of me. That's why yeah, I said, Do you right. notice anything different? You're both looking at me like, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he, yeah, I was yeah. lost. Yeah, yeah, usually throw us a bone or something like it, before it's, we start it's recording. to cool off so we don't have the AC on. No, it's yeah. actually it's halfway Not decent. bad. Yeah. It's not so. a freaking oven what why why is that because it's fall yep <laughs> that's right that's, that's right. right leaves are changing and we're going to talk fall 2021 uh because there's some things that you can be doing out there right now and catch fish yeah <laughs> yep well and there's a lot of like we have to part part of understanding what because of course it's different across the country right sure but, oh, yeah. you know the temperatures i'm sure up north are much cooler than they are here well we've plus been we've a, had like the last two weeks have been, been like hot, hot mother hot but, I don't get but, but remember, and it's just like spring, right? It's the sun. It's the path of the sun. It's how much sun. It's That is what it triggers these fish. Yeah, it can it's be not, hot during the yep. day, but it's got a lot more cooling hours yep. now because it's of the sunlight. It's not necessarily the temperatures. It's the... It's the the sun, which is telling the the fish that oh, you know, I I better start putting on the feed bags because pretty soon these crazy people from Minnesota are going to be drilling through ice to try to catch me. That's right. That's right. Like because that's they right. they're not going to be at home watching the Vikings because they suck. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I tell you, <laughs> my whole fall just opened up. I'm open <laughs> after <laughs> after it's day one, be a ice fishing yeah. maniac this this winter because he's not like, going to be watching the Vikings. I was like, really? This is <laughs> this is we've been waiting for this. <laughs> Going back and out fishing in in about three weeks. Can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going, Josh. You can't make it, but me and Mitch will. uh, I I hope we catch 30 pounders. We will. Yeah. (laughs) We will. (laughs) It's all about the attitude, right? Guaranteed. Well, before before we get going into our selected topic of fall 21, um, Brad, you had a pretty uh, interesting fall. You were basically... uh, Breath away from buying a new Ranger. Yes. And that didn't happen. Didn't. I went and looked at it, did everything that I could do, but uh, uh, just with the way that it's configured. So it's it's good. I mean, the way my garage is configured, I couldn't get that in there. And then and then my one car I needed in there. Right. I just couldn't. Right. So, well, so. and that was that's probably smart. I mean, as you know, now people don't know, but you, you store your boat outdoors, the mm-hmm. boat you have now, your tracker. And, um, to do that with a, you know, new Ranger and stuff. Would be I just couldn't insane. do it. And you know what? I'd already had all the financing done and everything. And it was just, you know, we have everything out of the garage. You're taping off the dimensions. Of yeah. Everything. Reworking it. And I'm like, okay, I got like six inches. Yeah. <laughs> for my wife to get in. Yeah. <laughs> you got to crawl through the window, hon. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do some hazard. It. <laughs> so, so no, I'm not, I am not going to be, I, I might, you know what? I might, I, I haven't looked at that. And that was doing, uh, you know, that, that 20 foot, but it's just yeah, under 20, 20, yeah. yeah, just under 21 foot. So maybe I'll have to look at the 1850 to see, but well, I, I'd rather go to the 21, but you yeah. know, you can only do what you can do. So I'm pretty sad actually. Why? Cause I could see myself riding. <laughs> oh, riding, I know. Right. Riding yeah, exactly. Captain Brad yeah. taking me across the lake. Yeah. You well, know, and, and Tizer has a nice boat. Oh yeah. He's got a great boat. It's still for sale by the way. I, I just saw it on Facebook, yeah. I think today. And I was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. It looked good right there. Yeah, and it's got the it's got the root on it. So if you like the G two, which it's a fast boat, it's about fifty five. Hey, get 56. it. This is get it while you can. Yeah, because they don't make them anymore. Yeah, they don't. No, they will. Inst- instant classic. Yeah. Instant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, but that's good. So this is how it works with Brad, right? <laughs> he doesn't get the six twenty, but we roll over here last time and in the driveway is a brand new truck i'm like wait yeah. a minute yeah yeah got the truck to pull it but then he's like man i didn't get the boat but i still got the truck 
<laughs> what's, up with his, yeah. what's with his priorities? Yeah, and you guys have to understand, like, like if Brad can save three cents, he will. Right, so he no, had my to, cutoffs a nickel. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, don't and, and shorten no. me. Listen, yeah. that is the straight up truth. <laughs> and so you know the fact that he he had his old. I don't know you. What year was your old truck? Oh seven. He had an oh seven Ford, uh, that kind of rounded body style, which brand new. wasn't my favorite. Bought it brand in new. Seven. Yep, had it forever, uh, but never drove anywhere. It was always Mitch and I driving wherever we went. And then <laughs> all of a sudden, he's like, "Dude, why don't you get a new truck? It's paid for." It's paid, dude, what are you nuts? That's paid for. Exactly though. Dude. It was probably like 2018. I jumped in it to go, you know, back in yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I looked, it was like 32,000 miles. Yeah, I know. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what is this? Yeah, yeah. You can drive this thing. Yeah, I'll never forget. We were going to, we were going back to that Michigan tournament. He's like, yeah, the transmission sounds a little off. You know, it's got like 8,000 miles on it. I'm like, what do you mean transmission's off? What? It was. I had to replace it. <laughs> no, I did because it's a Ford. It was there was a recall on it. But anyway, yeah, yeah. No so anyway, so he's got here. Do, we are. Do it's it's pretty funny because you know somebody may be out there looking for a, a new truck and they might want to know how your Ford EcoBoost did or does. It does pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> it looks like good. It. it looks it, good. Yeah, yeah, it looks like your truck. Yep. It's yeah. A short bed. Yep. That's yep. true. Well, but Mitch doesn't do the EcoBoost. He. He buys the. It's you know what it was, it was crazy because and then we'll get talking to fishing. But when I was in the because I've been looking for him for a while, you know, because I wanted the best deal. Yeah. Right. Like you know. so, I finally found for two years. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, looked for this for yeah. two years. Yeah, but he's but he's really been looking for like ten because right. you know. Well, anyway, so all the the options that I wanted, the different seat configuration, all that stuff, right? So I found one that I wanted, and and the, but there was also a used one. It was an eighteen that only had like. 28,000 miles on it. it. So I was like, that's yeah. not bad. I sold 75 they, cents cheaper. No, they brought, no, it was more expensive. <laughs> the used one Why? was more money than a brand new one. So I, it, it's because the, the specials that Ford had, the rebates, yeah, the rebates and yeah. because I had a Ford before, it, just the different discounts, the new truck ended up being like $500. So they counted your old yeah, one as owning a previous Ford? I mean, that one. Yeah, I, I, I bought mean, it from the same place. So. Yeah. I mean, that thing, his old one was so old, it had a model and then a dash and a letter after it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so fall, fall 2021. <laughs> you want to change the subject yeah, like, oh, to go. fishing. Oh. Yeah. No, I think the listeners want to change the subject. Yeah, they probably do. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're going to get into this, and then we'll carry it on to the next level of what we end up, how we really dive into the fall. We've been fortunate enough over the last, I don't even know, 15, 20 years, whatever, to get out and do a lot of fall fishing. Yeah. So, Well, and fall fishing can be spectacular. It it's, it hasn't always been that way for me, at least. No, it's uh, you didn't really do it. The I mean, me and Mitch have always done it. You know, I mean, for the last twenty, but you really started getting into it probably eight nine years ago. Yeah, or yeah, or a little bit more. But was yeah. it longer than that? But yeah, I mean, so you you yeah, didn't. You it's, just were like, eh. well, when I got my when I got my boat, I started to force myself to do it more. I mean, when I you know growing up, fall was. You know, we were kids. It was sports and everything else, yeah. and fishing went by the yeah. backside. And you know, and, and we grew up in reservoirs, so that's when the water dropped, and you know, the lake looked completely different than it did three months before when we were slaying the eyes and the smallies. And so now it's you know, so when I got the my boat, it was a, a different story. It was like, all right, I need to know how to do this. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to force myself to figure out how to do this. And then you realize it's not too bad. No, it can. you can have yeah. great days. I mean, and that was always the thing that, that struck me was, um, is we would have a day that was just unbelievable. I mean, just like it would be at the beginning of June, where you can just catch fish after fish after fish. And then we'd go out uh, two days later, or three days later, and the same spot, the same area. Ghost it was, town nothing you couldn't even mark a fish where mm -hmm. we just slayed 150 in in you know six hours yeah I, and i think that's one of the things we should kind of focus on is the location that we're looking at and why um things change so drastically yeah, in the absolutely fall. i mean you touched on it but a lot of our lakes around here are irrigation type lakes yeah. or if they're not in irrigation they draw water to fill up an irrigation right. like farther on down the line right. so our lakes fluctuate quite a bit um, I was just out east on Saturday, and I didn't make it all the way to Sterling, but I was looking at Empire as a mm -hmm. private lake, and that lake is down, because it's an irrigation lake, I would bet uh, 10 to 12 feet. Yeah. So a whole bay that's normally like, oh, probably eight, nine feet, um, it's a big bay. I mean, it's probably like five football fields big. Yeah. Um, 
completely dry. Yeah. It was it a- completely dry. That whole end of the lake, your yeah. whole, your end? That whole, it's completely dry in the main lake that's only like 22 feet. You can't even, the boat ramps are completely, you can't even launch. Can't really? launch yeah. 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 Well, because in Jackson, they shut, today was the last day. Oh, it was for the season. A lot of boat ramps. Lake. It's only like yeah. five miles from this yep. lake. So. A lot of boat yep. ramps out of the water this time of year. And it gets mm-hmm. tough. And it, and it is. And it's and it's tough to launch and it becomes a pain in the butt. But the nice part is, is, you know, all those wake boats that <clears> just <throat> destroy the water. All those start to. Oh, they're off. Away. Well, yeah. well, and I, I tell you what, what I've noticed kind of the difference from back home, like in the Midwest, mm-hmm. Minnesota area, because a lot of our listeners are from back there. Man, that that's like to me is true fall, the fall bite, right? Yeah. And I think you know, even us just kind of talking about it, I think the difference for us out here because I always get the bite definitely turns on in the fall, right? We right. all like to go out in the fall, um, but there's there's other factors to I think our reservoirs in the fall, the the fluctuating temps, the you know the turnover is different, the mm-hmm. you know that second shad hatch, Absolutely. you know they're they're kicking around. It's a lot different than a lot of natural lakes back in the Midwest, and man. <clears throat> Back home, the fall bite is the fall bite. Yeah. I mean, it, it it's on like mm-hmm. Donkey Kong yeah. everywhere. So if if people haven't been aren't out getting ready to go out and fish hard, you know, everybody switches over to duck hunting and pheasant hunting, and, right? And, and that's out a good to, time. Yeah, don't it, give that up but totally. But yep. man, there is some primo fishing going yeah. on starting right now. Yeah. Well, in the big lakes, you know, the big lakes, it's like the spring, right? Like when you go fish the Great Lakes and you 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 get those. Um, like the wind has become such a big factor in the spring because it pushes warm water, pushes warmer water. Um, you know, like when we were fishing up in Escanaba, right? The, the as far south as we could go to the Mich- Michigan boundary was where the warmer water was by four or five degrees mm-hmm. at least, right? And if the wind blew right, it would blow up that warmer water from lower Green Bay and it would come up the, you know, come up towards the north, north end of the lake. It's no different now, right? The lake is cooling at different temperatures and different rates. Uh, and if the wind blows, it will start to drop that temperature and those fish will begin to feel it along with the sun and everything else. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, this is when those big, huge schools that are following all the bait fish that are hatched and are now starting to get to that two, you know, three inch size, you know, that's where just trolling cranks in the, in the Great Lakes right now could just be unreal oh yeah but you know eerie and all those they all are Definitely. starting I was just to talking to a buddy of mine that was up in green bay fishing two weeks ago and that's what they're doing yeah he's trolling and he said uh that they went for three days they had two real good days and one the wind was blowing pretty pretty good mm-hmm. not not crazy yet but i, I can't remember it says like 15 18, yeah so not bad but it was enough to it shut it down because they couldn't find uh, where where the fish were, where they were those first two days, kind of like what we talked about at the beginning. They they will move pretty easy mm, this yeah. time of year. Yeah, and, and, and but around here, right now we talk about those lakes that are out out, out east. We still have plenty of water to fish, like mm. a lot of our metro lakes or even some of our bigger reservoirs. Yeah, those 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 ramps are open yeah, until the December, good. and well, December first is when they mm-hmm. close here. But then, like you have lakes down in Pueblo, which we've talked about numerous times. They're open all year, all year. plenty yeah. of water yeah so if you're getting to go out on those lakes around here or like mitch was talking about some of the minnesota lakes to where you do have good boat ramps and things where are you guys going to start looking right where are you going to go because you know you can go out you might have a 90 degree day here in the in the fall but it's only raising that water temperature the surface temperature just a little bit yeah it's pretty much because it's out. cooling down so much at night getting yeah. into the 50s or even high 40s mm-hmm. that that water temperature is dropping, yeah. and it doesn't rebound too much during the day. And then you're having that that light differential to to where the fish really start to feel that, and it and it does transition into a fall right. bite, right? To where you can where can you find them now? Yeah. And then what are we going to use? Well, I'm I'm going just like I said before we started recording. I like weeds. I want to find whatever weeds are left over if there are some. And right now there there definitely is, but right now is the time too where they're starting to die off. So more the the green weeds that are still alive. Yeah. And is that yep. true back in Minnesota too? It, it, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. See, I, I don't. Um, the fall is less of a weed time for me. It becomes a very structure structure oriented rocky rocky points, um, or they'll sit off to the uh, uh, into the cup side of a of a point um, along you know rock edges or uh, gravel bars or whatever. It's they're very much. But see, I also think that's where for us we have shad. 
maybe some rainbow smelt or owl wives or something like that. Um, you know, but the, the, the competition now is so gigantic, <clears throat> right? Like you're going to go out and you're going to fish and you're fishing against, against huge schools of real bait. Yeah. And so you have to, you have to go out there and, um, uh, you know, and the fish are active. They're active like crazy. And, and a lot of the live scope, um, in the last H2H tournament out at uh, Lake McConaughey, they were, I mean, the fish were just active like crazy, right? And you know, a lot of H2H, we've had some emails on that. Uh, we're going to have to do a podcast yeah. on H2H. Well, we'll do one about that and kind of what's going on with that and how that works. But, yeah, we've had some people asking us about Yeah, it. which is an interesting topic and it would be a good one for us to dive into because, uh, I mean, I'm sure we all have our own thoughts on it, you know, mm -hmm. um, but anyway, but anyways, but it would, the, all of them were using live scope and all of them, you could see the fish actively feeding and they were trying to target active fish. I mean, and they were averaging five pounds or so. I mean, you know, McConaughey's mm -hmm. got a great population. Oh my God. I didn't really watch any of it. Were they targeting those trees and fish no, in the trees? No, no they were no. targeting fish out off of sandbars and stuff like that. Now what ended up going on is guys started catching them trolling. Mm -hmm. And they started catching them trolling cranks and spinners, spinner baits and stuff like that. And, and that's what ended up kind of turning how they were doing it. But all the initial good bite was on slabbing. And, uh, but it was interesting to watch just because that live scope, you could see those fish, they were active as hell, but they weren't, they were not a lot interested in the, in the, in the slabbing. Yeah. So whatever they were but, using, spoons, yeah. a lot of them using spoons, mm -hmm. like the, um, uh, the flea, uh, what are those flea ones? Um, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yep. Um, they were using ones like that. Flea fly. Yeah. Flea flies. Yep. Yep. And, and those are real popular up there. I mean, that's where we all got introduced to them. Yep. So, of course, they did too. Um, but they were doing all those kinds of things and glide baits and different stuff like that. And, you know, typical McConaughey fashion, five or six fish a day usually. All probably pretty good ones. But um, that was a good day for them. Some of them had two fish a day doing that. Um, that's a lot of work for me. Oh yeah, that's what always killed me about fall fishing. Yeah, was you got there slab your, yeah, yeah. Well, I, well slab in any way. You know when you're talking fall fishing, man, that it makes for a sore arm. Well, it's, it's such fun a, though. Yeah, but it's I like such it a you... precise. <laughs> I love presentation. That. You don't get to cover water, mm -hmm. you know. No, and so you're if you cover water, you're you're screaming one spot to another, right? Like a milk run, but that's the hardest part. And I in the fall is can be such a good time to control cranks. Um, so I think there's two things that we're going to talk, we could really dive into is slabbing because there's definitely a, oh, a, a, there's definitely a need for yep. it. Yeah. Um, and then trolling yeah. and, and what that looks like, yep. you know, and, and how you can kind of transition troll too. Sure. So Absolutely. I think we should, we could really get into that in the next level. Talk about, I think right now guys know that we're going to be doing those two presentations, um, predominantly. Um, but what does that look like? How are we going to really get into it? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. So now we do want to take this over to the next level. We're really going to get into the different presentations, you know, talking about leg core, live bait, slab, and all that different stuff that can really try to put you on the fish. We're going to talk about cover. Mitch likes the weeds. Um, we fish a lot together. I like the structure stuff mm -hmm. like you. So we yep. kind of, that's one of the times when we're in the boat, we're like, come on, let's go mm -hmm. do this. Well, <laughs> the weeds aren't going to last long. No, no, so, they're not. They'll so start we dying up, off we, quick. Yeah. We end up finding them, and we end up doing kind of both in a day. But take this to the next level. Yep. Um, we do appreciate everybody listening to us, uh, All Eyes on Fishing here at, at, on our podcast. Make sure you're checking us out at aof.supercast.tech. That's where we, you can find our next level. We're really going to dive into this. We have a bunch of other episodes on there, and uh, we appreciate your support. This has been All Eyes on Fishing. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, go ahead and subscribe to The Next Level. And you can hear longer podcasts and more information on all of your favorite topics. And check us out at alleyesonfishing.com for apparel, blogs, and other information. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. All Eyes on Fishing, leading you to the next level.